What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today I want to talk about Red Dead Online and how a lot of problems are kind of starting to come out within the game. A lot of issues. I was really hoping once these roles were released, I was going to be able to get back into playing the game a lot more than I was before they were released. Because before the roles were out, the game just kind of got stale. Now the roles are out and the game is so buggy, in my opinion, at times that it's just really unplayable. And I kind of hate to do this because it's a game that I really enjoy playing and it's a game I enjoy doing YouTube content with. But at the same time, to me, if you can't enjoy something that you're playing, it's just kind of a, a kind of a downer, if you know what I mean. First of all, of course, we're going to talk about connection. Connection issues have been a thing in Red Dead Online since the beta. Now, sometimes you can play for days and not have a problem. Sometimes you can play between updates and not have a problem. And then all of a sudden you start having issues. A lot of people out there will tell you it's your internet. As long as you have at least one down and one up, decent pings, that kind of thing. That's all it really takes to play any online game. Me personally, my speed tests are always up. Between 90 and 100 down, 10 to 11 up, 17 pings. I have plenty of internet to, you know, to pull the game. Uh, it works perfectly in any other game that I play, you know, up to a point, you know, any game has a little bit of lag here and there. But connection wise, I've, I've talked to Rockstar several times. They have said that it is something on their end. They've recommended several things. Some things seem to work a little, some don't. Personally, I just turned my QoS off inside of my router and that seems to help a lot. I only get kicked, I would say one to two times, probably within a five hour play time. So that's not too bad. It's a lot better than 10 or 15 minutes. I know not everyone knows how to turn off their QoS. If you don't, you can definitely look that up online. Some people may not have the ability to turn off their QoS within their router. But to me, it's the connection problem it is a big issue. Some people have had it since day one. Some people had it like myself, just kind of off and on. And then you kind of go with the role problems. I was really excited when the roles came out. I saw, I saw kind of why, why I have, you know, stated before I was really looking to getting back into playing a lot more than I used to because it kind of got stale there for a while these roles came out and I was really excited but now the roles have a lot of bugs the only role that really does not have too many bugs or not having too many issues seems to be the collector while it is enjoyable it's not my personal favorite I really enjoy the trader but with the camp bug you cannot really have, be a trader because your camps always disappearing you'll be out on a on a run to get resupplied you'll be out on a run hunting you come back and your camp just disappears and it'll just pop up later on you try to go in and reset your camp it won't allow you to do it you can sit there for 20 or 30 minutes sometimes and fool with it and it'll pop up sometimes it won't so it makes it very frustrating because it's hard to make money with a trader if your camp's not there that's why i wish they would allow you to go to a different location besides your camp to talk to crypts because that is just very annoying i know the same thing kind of goes on with the bounty hunter a lot of people talk about black screens a lot of people have talked about not getting their money or their xp for their bounties the whole situation with the roles are just very buggy and i find this very frustrating and a lot of people aren't going to sit there for an hour trying to you know get it to work where you know if i'm trying to record something for youtube i will but this the normal player is probably going to give up within 10 or 15 minutes and just go play something else and may or may not ever come back and play Red Dead. They may just get completely frustrated with it because of all the issues that Red Dead Online has had. Of course, all of the issues we've had with character appearance lately, I'm not sure what's going on, but no one's character looks like it did. You know, kind of when we got the free, you know, uh, re-roll of your appearance, everybody got to change their characters. And now with these last few updates, it is just screwed up character appearance. I have personally not gone back in and, and tried to redo my appearance with gold bars. I know some people have, some have had success and some people say within, you know, a couple of days of playing or just after they do the gold bar, you know, kind of deal to change their appearance and log off and log back on at a later time that their appearance goes back to being screwed up. So I'm not sure what the deal with that is, but that's another frustrating thing that you have to spend in game currency that you've earned for something that is a bug and that is messed up, that is not your fault. Uh, the game kind of seems to lack content, really. If you cannot, if you cannot usually do the, you know, your jobs and your things with your role every day, and you're having to go back and just do normal stuff because of the bugs, of course, the game really lacks content. It's back to doing the same old story missions or side missions. Of course, they have added a few new side missions and stranger missions, but uh, it's just not a lot of content there, in my opinion. I still feel like the roles are kind of broken. Even if the roles are working properly, I still feel like they're very just kind of the same repetitive thing. It's not a lot into it. Hopefully that will change in the future. And I think it probably will. And another big issue and all people are having with the trader, uh, you know, besides just the camp issue is animal spawn locations. Now I have gotten in some servers where it seems like there's 
better animal spawns. And a lot of people say it's because there's too many people in the lobby. I've gotten into full lobbies where there's no animals. I've gotten into full lobbies where there's tons of animals or, you know, a good bit of animals. It's just like something's not right. And I know some people have also said they have contacted Rockstar and, and talked to support. And they say this is also a bug. The issue with the animals is something they're looking into, trying to fix. So hopefully that will get fixed soon as well. But overall, right now, since the roles have been released, the game has really gotten worse, in my opinion, because of all the bugs, all the issues. If you can get the game to play right, it's very enjoyable. If you cannot get the game to play right, it is extremely frustrating. And hopefully Rockstar will get this fixed soon. Because if not, I think they're going to lose even more players that have kind of come back to the game, hoping they could, you know, have some new things to do within the game and kind of come back and see that it's kind of broken and buggy and everything they have to do is the same stuff they've had to do in the past, you know, nine, ten months. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.